I'm gonna lose my mind. They're both talking to me at the same time. Alexa, stop. I can't get the answer to that on Thank you for using WebMD. This is too much for my brain. What's going on guys? This is Sam and today I want to show you all the new emojis coming to your devices in 2018. We saw the official preview come out around a month ago. I was really busy, didn't make a video on it then. I want to make one on it now. And as always, I want to give a huge shout out to Emojipedia for the amazing work that they do every year. Whenever these new emojis come out, whenever the list is revealed for what we will be seeing that year, they do these incredible mock-ups of how Apple could design these if they were on iOS devices or macOS devices. These are almost certainly the emojis we'll be seeing on macOS 10.14 and certainly iOS 12 as well. So I'll leave a link to their site down below. Go ahead and check them out. But let's go ahead and jump into this list. First off, cuddly hearts emoji is what I would describe this one as. You got like three or four hearts around someone and uh, just really looks warm and fuzzy and it makes you feel good. The next one is actually how I felt a while back when I got the stomach flu or like the 24 hour stomach bug. I was looking for an emoji to describe it because it was worse than just like the general throw up or like the green face emoji like you're hot, you're cold, you're sweating, you feel awful, your tongue's sticky now. That is a very quality emoji right there. After that, freezing emoji. For all the cold people in the world, you will now be able to describe how you feel most of the time with an emoji. I really like this next one, the party hat with the uh, like, I, what do you call it? We had those when I was little. It's in my mind. And you you did it when you were young at birthday parties and it was really fun. And like all the kids would be like, yes, birthday party. And you were like, yes, it's my birthday. And then you would have this like streamer or kazoo and you're, we're, we're gonna call it a kazoo. This poor emoji looks like it's just had a rough day. Maybe one bar fight too many. And it's, uh, it's hopefully gonna have a better day in the future, but right now it's not looking too good. This next one has large teary eyes. It's clearly seen something beautiful. It's seen the light. I don't know what it's seen. I wish that I could, I could look this in awe of anything, but uh, that's coming in 2018. And then the next one is big. We have redhead emojis across all skin tone variants coming in iOS 12, both male and female. This is a big deal. Redhead emoji is probably like the number one requested, I'd say, over the past few years at least. Everyone's been wanting to see them, and now people with red hair are represented in the emoji universe. After that, we have male and female for curly hair as well. Curly hair was also not really represented, and a good chunk of the population worldwide has curly hair. And then completely 118 from that we've got bald emojis for everyone that just doesn't have hair and then we've got white hair both male and female and then these ones are cool for all superhero fans and supervillain fans we have superhero and supervillain people coming later this year with these i think you have male female and gender neutral so you can pick whichever one you want once again they have all skin tone variants across all three of those and then supervillain also looks pretty cool of course you have to have that evil counter for the good counterpart next is where it gets a little bit weird really leg emojis Foot emojis? What's next? Bone emo- Oh, there's bone emoji too. Teeth emoji? Sun okay, sunglass emoji is pretty cool. And then it looks like you got like a white doctor's coat right there. That's pretty neat. But back to the legs and the feet. Did we really need this? Did anyone ask for this? I didn't ask for this. I feel like I just don't need to see this ever at all, at any time. I mean, maybe if my foot was hurting, I could just say my foot is hurting instead of using an emoji for it. Or like if my leg fell off, I would just be like, hey, you know, my leg is removed, but I don't really need an emoji to show that limb that is no longer attached. I just really appreciate if maybe these got canceled forever and we, we didn't have to see legs and feet just separated from the body in our feeds. Moving on from that, we have boot right here, then a shoe, raccoon coming, llama, Looks like rhino, kangaroo, oh my gosh, kangaroo emoji is coming. Get hyped, I'm so excited. I actually checked this one, it's actually hippopotamus. Next up after that is badger. Looks like they are kind of up to no good. We got swan, peacock, that's actually a, a very good looking emoji. Just like, I like the colors here. It looks looks very satisfying as well as the bird next to it. This is the parrot emoji coming later this year. I really just like the, the bright colors, the yellows, the blues, the greens. They look really great there. After that, we got lobster. I actually had to look up what this one was. This is apparently mosquito emoji. Mosquito emoji, once again, not something that I'm sure anyone was really asking or begging for, but we're getting it. This one also kind of makes me a little bit uncomfortable we got microbe. I guess for all the science majors out there, or people who just love science in general, or want to talk in the DMs about microbes, there's now an emoji for you. Mango looks absolutely delicious. And then leafy greens right here, I'm a, I'm a big fan of. I love my leafy greens. It looks like a donut to me. Like, doesn't it look sort of like a maple glazed donut right here? I was really excited to, to see that variation of a donut, but it's uh, it's actually just a bagel. You have salt right here that I believe this one is called mooncake, which I've never had or heard of, but it must be a very popular delicacy somewhere. Cupcake looks pretty delicious, but they always put too much icing on them. I'm the type of person that when I'm eating a cupcake, I see some people just like slurp down the ice icing on the top. I can't do that. I just need like the, the dough at the bottom and a little bit of icing. It's, I don't know. It's always too much for me. Compass in case you get lost. Bricks in case you want to build something. Skateboard. I 
I actually thought was part of the emoji set already, but apparently it wasn't. Some tropical pattern luggage. Firecracker is uh, gonna be an interesting addition. I didn't know what this one was until I looked it up. This one is actually red gift envelope. But I really like the the inscription and the design on it. It looks pretty sweet. You've got a softball right here. Frisbee emoji. Yes, I love Frisbee. I totally forgot this was a part of the Emoji 11.0 release. You also get lacrosse after that. So softball, Frisbee, and lacrosse, and I guess skateboarding, if you would count that as a sport as well, those are all coming, which is pretty cool. This one I had to double check on is Nazar Amulet. You've got a puzzle piece, a teddy bear, and then you get into some more game stuff right here. A chess piece, which is pretty dope. I believe it's a, a bis abacus, abiscus. I think it's Abacus. It always looks very intriguing. Receipt right here. I like the design of the red toolbox. Looks very nice right here. And then you've also got a magnet with some cool lightning bolts coming out of the bottom. A test tube. Once again, more sciencey stuff. This is also a, yeah, a Petri dish right here. I feel like microbes should be included alongside these. Uh, this is a double-stranded DNA helix, which is very cool. Part of all human beings. You've got a uh, fire extinguisher. This doesn't really look like it, but this is apparently a bottle of lotion. If you're a sewing enthusiast, there are some new emojis for you coming in this update. We have thread and yarn along with a safety pin, broom right here, basket, toilet paper. I'm also really just kind of shocked that wasn't there already. Soap right here, a sponge, and then an infinity sign. Finally, pirate flag. Last great addition to this emoji lineup. There are so many good ones coming this year. As always, I want to hear your thoughts. Let me know down below which one is your favorite. I don't know if I can pick just one. If I have to, I think I'm leaning towards kangaroo emoji. This is definitely the best edition without question. But in all seriousness, there are a lot of great ones coming in 2018. Now, as of right now, we don't have a release date for these. I believe the final version is going out to vendors like Apple, Google, Samsung and a number of others uh, later this summer so they'll be able to actually implement them into their software with the final release version after then so these definitely won't be coming before this summer and then Apple generally takes a few months to design them and add them to iOS if we don't see them in the iOS 12.0 beta we'll probably see them sometime in iOS 12.1 maybe October November of 2018 which is a very long time away last year Apple actually gave us a preview of these emojis during the summer before they were added to iOS 11 and before they were actually a part of the operating system. Maybe we'll see an early release or at least an early preview again this year. We just don't know yet. Obviously, sooner here is better than later, but we don't have an exact release time just yet. Anyway, that's going to wrap up this video. If you enjoyed watching, as always, it does help me out. If you take just one second to drop a like down below, and of course, hit subscribe for more emoji news in the future. As always, if you want to help support the channel, this shirt is coming very, very soon to shop.iupdateos.com along with a few others. I'm super excited for this new retro merch collection. Stay tuned for that. But for now, I've been Sam. I hope all of you are doing great and I'll talk to you in my next video.